Scrotal lymphedema. <laughs> scrotal lymphedema is what happens when your scrotum uh, grows. Build up of fluid. Fluid in the mass and tissue. Tissue. It will knit itself into the fabric of your scrotum. You know, those things you can't get on the show. <laughs> yeah. Tissue. Tissue, I don't even know you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is what you get when you wash your neck. You get Kleenex. Dr. Steve Chipperson. <laughs> Or something. Uh, Fluids or something. <laughs> Jesus. That's, yeah, uh, it's a big mass of something. So, so, you know, a bunch of people in church inside of you throw them or something. So, so, so. <laughs> you know, like Dr. Steve Chipperson? No. <laughs> Who would? Flood. Yeah, a bunch of fluid. Wow, that's... I hate those stories. You gotta like grab yes. your, you gotta grab your balls when when you you're hearing these stories. I don't know why. Grab yours. <laughs> Ow. Ooh. I don't like that. Yeah, bad as bag must have seen. Oh my oh. god. Oh. What? What happened? You know that feeling you get in your balls when you go in a car, like, and you're going over a hill. Where you're going downhill and then way it goes uphill really quick. Like it sinks back into you? What is that? <laughs> I gotta ask Dr. Steve that. Why do you get a feeling in your ball bag when you go down a hill and then back up like that? What is that? Well, it's basically the it's just sinking back and it's gravity kind of pulling you back towards the center of your own gravity, which would be where you're seated. <laughs> I don't buy that. Yeah, because it's when you go up and over a hill, or when you go down and up. So you're getting the the uh, increase in G's and negative G's on your ball bag. <laughs> you don't have any H's or I's or something. <laughs> 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 so so so. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we got. Uh, fucking off. I got a mustache. Sus. That's when you have a bunch of mushes and you hide them somewhere. Sus. Sus. We got a guy that had this in in the eighth grade. Oh, stop. Jim in Philly. Uh, yeah, right what do you got? Big balls. Yeah, it's called uh, testicular torsion. Oh. And uh, the same shit happened to me. Like in, uh, it was like the summer of eighth grade, and I woke up one morning and. My balls do imitations. It's testicular gorsion. <laughs> it's an old it's joke. Yeah, it's funny, though. It, it feels like you get hit in the balls, like, just all fucking day. And then, yeah, it gets this mind that you get, like, a soccer ball. I mean, I would definitely collect donations at that point. But, like, I got, I got at least, like, a softball. Don't and they also call that, like, a twisted yo-yo or something? Yeah. They like, have, like, like your, ball, your, your testicles in your sack... They are connected, obviously. They don't just sit there like click clacks. They're connected with some fucking, you know, tubes and shit. And, uh, and, uh, they, but they have to be, uh, able to drop down. Right. Or suck back up. Right. So they, it actually is like a little yo yo thing. And that whole, that, that, that little array of stuff that holds your balls there, it could sometimes twist Ugh. and, and kink like a hose. Like a kinked hose. That's exactly what they. Explain. And that fucks up your uh, your your fucking balls. And Ooh. yours got up to the size of a softball. What do they do for you? Well, it was the, uh, the worst part was that my grandparents were ever watching me, so I I had to go to my fucking you know eighty year old grandma and say, hey, you know, like I think something's wrong down there. And, you know, I was bit by a snake, uh, Grandma. You got to suck the poison out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, then why are you putting it in my ass? <laughs> Get it ready for your mouth. <laughs> that guy just calls in to help the show out. <laughs> and then he's fucking his grandma in the ass. And then the mouth. He's doing yes, ATM. And then the mouth. A little grandma. ATM. Great. Yeah, exactly. Pull those oh, teeth out. I guess. Uh, I guess we don't care oh, what happens. Great. Yet. But uh, do you have normal balls now? Well, I mean, that's the shitty part, because once they, you know, they expand to, like, a softball, I mean, like, you know, they don't grow back to, the, it's like, it's like losing a lot of weight at, at once, so you got, I got, got like, you know, oh. you know, some wrinkles, so I look like, got I half a Hulk bag, bag. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of skin yeah. down there, <laughs> say what, you got a lot of skin down there, yeah, yeah, but like, like a deflated basketball or something, uh. yeah. Uh, there you go. Man. See how yeah. fucking blows. When someone says slap me five sets, give me some skin, right? So you just throw your balls yeah, or something. Right, right. I right. said, yeah. <laughs> Doctor Chip. They, they told you they, they were like they were like if you come to a funeral, you 
would have uh, lost. Uh, you would have not, not been able to have kids and shit. So yeah, they really fucking scary. <laughs> Hello. All right, Jim. Thank you. We got we got the man himself on the line. Doctor Steve, we got a story of a guy. His uh, fucking balls or his scrotum uh, got up to 134 pounds. Nice. And he said he uh, moved in the middle of the night and fucking felt an incredible pain. I guess he what twisted yeah. the wrong way or something, and that's what he's yeah. claiming caused this, which I doubt very much. Yeah. Yeah, that's called massive scrotal edema. What the fuck? And, uh, well, a lot of times it'll happen when the uh, uh, venous supply of the scrotum is blocked. So here's the thing. Veins are uh, very compressible, uh, uh, thin-walled vessels, whereas arteries are muscular and hard to compress. So if you get um, some compression of the vein, then the arteries can still pump blood in. But oh, man. Water fucking balloon. Yeah, it's a, it's just a uh, you know a hydrostatic situation where you've got water pumping in and it can't come out, and so it just pumps these uh, this scrotum, which is already uh, pretty loose and uh, elastic, and it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It will stop when the pressure pushing in equals the pressure pushing out, but oh. with the scrotum, it takes a long time. It can get huge. Oh, my God. So when, when they say they removed a the mass, though, is it just fluid, or is it... Uh... It's probably stretching well, the shit out of stuff in there, right? Yeah, there's... Uh, it's the, the testicles are still there, but they're, they don't grow. They're the, Inside that giant sac, there will be two probably uh, atrophic little testicles. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, well, you get that if you come in second place. That's all that. Doctor Chip. I kind of like Doctor Chip. But yeah. yeah, a lot of the tissue in there will become just sort of uh, boggy, and there won't. There might not necessarily be a lot of free fluid, although there there may well be. You know, in one that size, I, he's probably got a few gallons of. Uh, fluid. Oh. As, as well as just tissue that's, um, you know, boggy and enlarged. Swollen and, and fucking, like, uh, impregnated with fluid. Yeah. Oh, that's disgusting. So, so how do you take care of this? Uh, surgery is the only the only option on that. Compression will actually make it. Does everyone work. get soaked in the operating room? Oh, oh yeah. Wait, yeah, compression will do what? Compression will just make it worse. Like so people think, well, you got a swollen leg, you put them in a compression stocking. But compress, uh, compressing uh, swollen ball bag will actually make the, uh, the the problem worse. So you can't jump up and down on it. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like it. Sometimes people with cancer, uh, you can get torsion of the testicles will cause uh, torsion of the testicles where you twist the cord of the testicle mm. so much that it cuts off the blood supply. Now, that's a surgical emergency. But usually it doesn't cause a scrotum that's, you know, 14 pounds or 40 pounds or whatever you said. You could probably lose a testicle that way if it's not receiving nourishment. Absolutely. Oh, Absolutely. Jesus. This guy got it up to 134 pounds. Wow. You chicks think it's fucking your, your tits yeah. are a problem. Jesus Christ. Got these yeah. fucking balls. Hanging Just down. Imagine trying to walk around with that shit hanging between your legs. Oh man. my god. Yeah, you have to bounce on him or something. So, so, so. <laughs> <laughs> god, yeah. I, I really think I like this one. <laughs> so, so. So, yeah, uh, so much fun. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Dr. Steve, that's terrible. You want to take uh, ball bag questions right now? Yeah, sure. Because sure. you're freaking out everybody. We got a guy, Rocco, in Jersey. He needs to talk to you immediately. Yeah. Uh, it's Rocco. <laughs> Rocco. <laughs> Rocco, what's up? Dr. Steve, 44. Um, I got big sack of varicose veins. I mean, I think for me they're big. And, <sighs> you know, they hurt when someone touches them, like my wife touches them. Ah! Maybe Chip could touch them. Um, anyway, Boy. what do you suggest? Okay, I missed it. He's missed got a whole, big ball sack full of varicose, varicose veins. veins. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, if you read, a lot of people will have that. Um, there are veins around the testicles that draw the heat away. You may know that you 
can only make sperm if uh, the testicles are three to six degrees below body temperature. And so there's like a, uh, a heat exchanger, which <laughs> is, uh, you know, this plexus of veins around the testicle that draws heat away back up into the body. And you can get varicose veins there just like you can anywhere else in the, in the <sighs> you know, in the lower extremities. Ow. And when you reach down there and feel, it'll feel like a bag of worms. Yeah, and, uh, uh, just, and just can't go fishing with them now. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> when that happens, they lose their heat exchange capability. And so people with varicoceles, which is what that's called, will very often be infertile. And uh, the only way that this can be treated, is, uh, if you want to treat it, is to have a, a urologist strip away those things. Now, Dr. Steve, um, yeah. uh, you're talking about, like, uh, the temperature of the ball bag. That's kind of why it hangs down there. So it's like, uh, you know, it's like an air-cooled little engine. Um, yeah. Now, if I wear, uh, like, uh, socks on my ball bag, you know, just yeah. pull and keep it real warm, uh, would it uh, not, is that a good form of birth control? What's well, that? <laughs> I would say it's a reliable form of birth control, but yeah. it would affect your sperm count over time. Yeah, if I fuck a, uh, a girl and I, I, I have like a 100-watt a light bulb and I lay my balls on them as I'm pounding away, uh, problem? Yes, yeah, it would look like your balls just had a great idea. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dr. Person, Steve, guy, <laughs> guy. Uh, wow, that's something. Yeah, that's a crazy fucking thing to oh, have. Oh, varicose veins. Varicose fucking veins and in your be, ball bag. You'd be infertile. Yeah. yeah. So I guess you'd have to move out of fertile. So, 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 so I guess another thing. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, wearing a little thin there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, so I'm wearing right. thin, so yeah, because it's really nice outside. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> thank you, Rocco. We're going to move on to the next ball bag problem. We got Louie in Westchester. Louie, you're on with Dr. Steve. Yeah. What's going on, guys? Hey, man. Dr. Steve, I got a, I got a uh, black little spot in the middle of my ball bag. Oh, boy. You got, you got a what? You a black him. spot. You heard him. Oh, a black spot. Oh, yes. okay. Yeah. Um, is it painful at all? Uh, not really. Okay, and is it raised a little bit, like there might be a little something under the skin there? Uh, possibly, maybe. I'm feeling it right now. Oh. Uh, it might be a little raised. How big is yeah. it? Uh, it's not very big. I would say the size of a small pimple. Your cock? Okay. No, not <laughs> my cock. <laughs> There, uh, the ball bag is real, uh, uh, or it's very prone to developing little cysts. There, it, uh, if you look at your, if your nut sack, you may see these little white spots all over the place. Those are called four dice spots, which are actually what are they uh, called? The four dice. Four dice. Spots. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna do that. <laughs> yes. What are you dice play or something? Yes. <laughs> They are uh, little uh, sebaceous glands, little oil glands, and every once in a while, one of those things will get really clogged up and cause a blackhead. Oh, jeez. Black oh, it it'll be... Ladies, don't get too turned on with this fucking <laughs> right. discussion about our fucking zitty ball bags. Exactly. This sebaceous one's for you. This fucking... one's for you. Yeah. Wow, one for the ladies. It doesn't look like a blackhead, though. Okay, okay. If it's black... And it's on your skin, and it's not a black. Uh -oh. I would get it. You're unemployed. <laughs> what? Just wow. To, uh, <laughs> uh, just to uh, I'm either a dermatologist or a urologist, let them take a look at it. Those kinds of things are the hardest thing to diagnose over the air. Uh oh, you know that. Means. Oh boy, you know what that I means. I don't. I don't want a piece of that. Yeah, he doesn't want any responsibility. Uh, no, I'm just saying, if I could see. Good luck it, with I the chemo. Immediately, but yeah, uh, you know it. it you can get um, little vascular uh, changes of the skin in the ball bag, too, because the skin is so thin. You get a little uh, 
thing called a hemangioma. Ah, uh, uh, it's all the stuff we get. Uh, I'd, 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 I'd have to taste it to get a uh, <laughs> diagnosis. It's a hemangioma is a collection of capillaries, and they're usually red, but every once in a while one will clot off and it will turn black. Oh. So that may be what it is, and uh, but I definitely get it checked. Any black lesion on the skin needs to get checked. Oh, all right. Thank you. Let's move on to, uh, this is a terrific segment here. Why yes. don't we move on to um, Steve in Massachusetts. He's got yes. uh, three testicles, Dr. Steve. Steve? Oh. I'm actually looking for uh, Chip's opinion. <laughs> okay. What does Chip think? What's your question? I have uh, three balls. Well, kind of two, two and a quarter balls. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's yeah? What's your nickname? Like the three ball wonder or something? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> extra <technical. laughs> Fucking, he loses air lab. That's the best. It was just such a disappointment. <laughs> it really was. After riding so high. Like, I knew he had his hopes up for a really good Chip yeah, one, yeah. and Chip just lets you down gave, every time. Chip gave you nothing. Uh, so, <laughs> Steve, you got two regular balls and one that's a lot smaller, making uh, the third. Yeah, it's like a two-and-a-half men show or something. Since yeah. <laughs> yeah? Yes. Yeah? What do you think? What is what, what causes that? Dr. Steve, have you heard of this? Sure. It's most likely a collection. The third testicle is most likely a collection of fluid. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Yeah, we love when you it. say fluid. That's his catchphrase. Uh, if you take a pen light and put it behind that third testicle, and if it lights up like VT's finger, it's most likely a, a clear collection of fluid called a hydro seal. A hydro seal. Yeah, can it bounce the ball in its nose or something? <laughs> 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 and if you, if you just let your doctor take a look at it, they can usually tell if that's what it is. Those things don't have to be removed uh, if it's not if they're not bothering you. Now, if it's opaque, then it needs to be uh, evaluated with oh, a testicular boy. ultrasound. Oh boy! And, uh, they can usually tell whether it's a problem Ow. or what, what? What? What are the odds? It's uh, part of his dead brother that never fully <laughs> developed. Joined twin that only. <laughs> It's a little face on it. Oh, Got to go through life with his one little oh, testicle. Imagine that. He shines the light through it, and it goes, help me. <laughs> it starts talking uh, and looking uh, around. <laughs> oh, your little brother in your ball bag. Don't dilly-dally. We need the answer. <laughs> Love you guys. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a long, long time listener. Oh, everyone's man. talking. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Steve. Right. It's a long time listener. I appreciate it. Bye, Dr. Steve. Dr. Steve. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Oh, am I leaving, too? Uh, no, no, oh. we got one more. Oh, okay. okay. Wait, what's going on? Every once in a while, they'll have these sets. I want to try to get a picture with the VJs. Ooh, the VJs. Oh. But you can open these sets. No. <laughs> if Jimmy gets his picture, you know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out after the show, Roland. Let's say hi to Joe in Indiana. One more for Dr. Steve before we let him go. Joe. Hey, you. I had uh, I had this problem when I had been dealing with it for about the last four years, and then in the end of February I just had surgery for it. So when you had the enlarged uh, scrotum, how, how big did yours get? Uh, maybe the size of like a junior basketball. You know, like you'd have your little kid play with. What the fuck? Come on, how did you fucking function with that? I did. It's not very easy, but you do. You know, you learn to deal with it. There's no way I, that dude out in, that had that 134 pound. There's no way. I mean, mine got to the point where it was starting to block off the uh, the urine flow and stuff, and that's the reason. I mean, and I've been to the doctors. Oh, dude. I've been to urologists. I was to you know family <laughs> doctors, and all trying to you know care. figure out. And they knew David it was Allen Greer. Yeah. But they couldn't ever figure out why we couldn't get it off. Well, Jimmy's talking. Yeah, to a specialist. Yeah, Joe. And the specialist <laughs> said they had to do surgery. It just came out of shade. Uh, we're going in the shade. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy, Joe, I think. Wow. So did you have to get, like, bigger pants or fucking, you obviously didn't go to the beach for a while, huh? Uh, no. <laughs> hmm. No. Um, no, not really. How excited just, Jimmy is. You know, he really Cause, cause that his camera? Did he get a picture? No, because they're friends. David Allen Greer like, oh, oh. recognized Jimmy. So oh, that's he why did. Jimmy's very excited. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know, know that. that. Yeah, Joe. Wow. That's, that's crazy. fucked up, dude. 
Oh, the surgery was a mother, dude, man. They take a uh, skin. He's waiting for the VJs. They remove That's yeah. like his big get for the day. He's checking his and camera. Then, uh, yeah. <laughs> Look, he's doing test shots. He's doing Kenny. a test shot with Kenny. Always the and test shot. Holy shit. Yeah, Joe. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Whoa. Wow, that sounds really Holy bad. Holy shit. Now he's checking the test shot to make yeah. sure everything is. Is Kenny going to take the picture? Properly. Does Kenny have proper clearance? Yeah, Kenny will be taking the picture. Yeah. When Jimmy does it with the VJs. Holy shit. Dude, how did you. Were you with a girl at the time? Or. Uh, <laughs> No. Uh -oh. No? How long did you have it? Uh, I had I dealt with it for about four years. So you weren't with a girl for four years? No. Yeah. Holy shit, what's wrong with you? Well, Homo? About, the first, about the first two years, it wasn't so bad. It was... It was probably the size of a baseball, but then in the last, you know... Even a baseball no, I'm sorry. is bad enough. Exactly. Sorry yours got up to a mini basketball, but even a baseball a baby, you would can't, be a, yeah, you a major can't get issue into, for a guy. You can't get into the sack with a right. chick uh, with a baseball-sized ball bag. Did you, did you curse God? <laughs> uh, no, but I whatever was going Mine got up to a fucking, oh, you know, a cursing. baseball, I'd be cursing God. Cursing God. I'd be saying, why me? <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. All right, Joe, that was a great story. Thank you, Joe. We appreciate it. Dr. Steve, you got anything for Joe? No, just uh, be well, my brother. Yeah. Be well, my brother. <laughs> Dr. Steve, you want to plug anything? Sure. Got Weird Medicine, 9 p.m. on Saturdays on, I guess, XM 103. Oh, now. boy. I think yeah, so. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Yeah. But, um, oh, there's the VJ. Uh, oh, all right. Oh, thank oh. you, Dr. Steve.